Good morning, Yes X. I hope that you're well. Please can you pause now and complete the starter? Well done for completing the starter. With the first question, we need to remember that if we're multiplying by 100, then we're moving two places to the left. Our number's going to get bigger. For question number two, we need to remember that we divide by the denominator and then multiply our answer by the numerator. For question number three, we need to remember bid math, so brackets, indices, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. They're the order you need to be completing this problem in. For question number four, it's summary gains So question number two. So what you need to do is basically times two by three to give you six over nine. And then for question number five, this is some multiplication and that's what we're going to go through now. So today's aims are to understand how to use long multiplication and to apply knowledge of long multiplication. So now I'd just like you to take a moment to pause and to think about what is long multiplication and what are the steps involved in this. So for long multiplication, we set things up like this. So we've got 36 times 21. Hence why we've got the T at the top to represent the tens column and the zero or the O to represent the ones column. Now, to start this problem off, we're going to look to the 1 in 21 and multiply it by everything on the top row, starting from right, heading towards the left. So first we do 1 times 6, which is 6, and then we move across and do 1 times 3. 3. Then we're going to move along from the 1 to the 2 now, and we know that this is actually 20 because the question is 21. So what we do is we put our placeholder over here and carry on doing just the same as what we did with the one. So now we're going to do two times six, which is 12. Now we put the two down here and we carry the one at the top. So now Following along the same as before, we just did 2 times 6, we're now going to do 2 times 3, which is 6, and remembering to add this 1 over here from the top. So, in our two columns we get 36 and 720, and all we need to do is add those together. So, 6 add 0, 3 plus 2 and seven plus nothing. So your answer is 756. So I've already written out 840 times 56 in the form that we need it. And I've also done, because I'm sure you can get this quickly, six times zero is zero. And then keeping with the six, we go across. So six times four is 24. So we put the four down here and carry the two into the next column. So now we're doing six times eight, which is 48. But remembering this two up here, 48 add two is 50. So because there's no more numbers left to work with on this column, we can just put 50. Now, we need to remember to add in our placeholder before we do anything else. Now that we've got that, we can do five times zero, which I'm sure you know the answer by now. Next, we've got five times four, which is 20. So the zero goes here and we carry another two over. Okay. So we've just done five times four, which is 20. We've carried the two. So we need to remember that when we now do five times eight, which is 40. Remembering that two, we add it on at the end. So it's 42. Okay, and now that we've got here, we've got the nice and easy bit where we add them all together. So zero add zero, four add zero, 
zero, zero again. Five plus two and four plus nothing. So our answer, pop a little comma in there, is 47,040. Okay, so now's your chance to work on these problems that we've got here. Try your best, but if you are struggling, do feel free to go back a little bit and to go back through the explanation just to help you out a bit. So here are the answers to the you do. Well done for giving these a go. Okay, so here's a challenge for you to try. Give it a go, but if you get really stuck, once again, feel free to go back and listen to the explanation for long multiplication once again. Okay, so here is the answer to the challenge. Well done if you've got this right, and well done if you've given it an attempt as well. This is tricky stuff, so keep practicing.